Hello, my awesome Aries. I missed you guys. Love you so much. Love your beautiful energy. So happy to be back with you guys. I'm smiling right now. So let's do this. So, of course, you want to see what's going on with your soulmate. And we also going to uh, go into your energy to see what's coming into your life. What you'll be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for your highest good. First, we're going to ask about your soulmate. What are they up to? Whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to see what's coming towards them. What they're dealing with facing. And how they are currently relating towards you. Especially emotionally. What they're thinking. What's in their head. What's on their mind. What they're feeling. Let's see. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries. For Aries, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Aries. The soulmate of Aries. What is going on in the soulmate's life? What is the soulmate of Aries dealing with facing that Aries is allowed to see for the highest good? And how is the soulmate of Aries currently relating to Aries at this time, especially emotionally? The soulmate of Aries. My goodness. They showing up here as an emperor in position one. Ooh. What is this? This person is totally in love with you. But this means hidden love unspoken love secret love so this person is very much armored their heart is very guarded this person is not ready and they're looking away do you see they looking away from the ace of cups they're not looking towards it but the way they looking at you at the camera and for the ace of cups to be right after this energy shows that they know that you either suspect or know or feel how they feel about you you already know it they know that but nevertheless they're gonna play like there's nothing going on this person is totally in love with you this also shows in position one that this person is very important in the business community whether they work for themselves or somebody else they could be holding a very high position with a lot of responsibilities have a lot of people underneath them or they could be their own successful business owners so one thing is for sure this person is very much in love with you but it's not really discussing it with you not being forward about their feelings not really showing it yet and you see they turned away from it not that they don't want to feel it it's just they're not uh, maybe not able to right now currently to discuss it with you oh my goodness this person this is weighing on them heavily because for some reason they can't be with you right now or can't tell you how much you mean to them emotionally a lot of you are dealing with aries also cancer pisces scorpio also leo sagittarius aries this person has a lot of work responsibilities a lot a lot of work responsibilities heavy duty my goodness they are the manifester so this person this person is a manifesting energy this person can manifest whatever it is that they believe in themselves to manifest this person i don't think they believe in themselves they can manifest whatever they want in their life with this energy here combined together especially in the same um spread emperor with magician let me see what's going on here more detail universe what's going on with the soulmate of aries what is going on with the soulmate of aries and how is the soulmate of aries towards aries a lot of you are also dealing with virgo and gemini wow so they want to be on peaceful grounds with you they want reconciliation so some of you guys are either not in contact or in sporadic contact misunderstandings this person wants you in their life they want to reconcile with you meaning be on peaceful grounds with you without fights disagreements because you're important to them this is how they feel about you Oof. 
Ten of Pentacles. So this person views you as a lifetime commitment they would like to have with you. This person, because of how deeply they feel for you and they admit it to themselves, they may not admit it to you, but they admit it to themselves because of how they feel about you. They want a lifetime commitment with you. Ten of Pentacles means grounded, monogamous, long-term relationship. That's what they're hoping for. My goodness, this person is very guarded at work. So there is a lot of gossiping that they are dealing with. They're dealing with a lot of backstabbers, gossipers, people wasting resources, mismanaging the place. This person has too much on their plate because they're dealing with too many lazy, incompetent people. Oof. Yeah. This person feels unbalanced. They have too much stress. Too much stress. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please clarify these energies. What's going on with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries? Wow, Leo. Very strong Leo energy. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Also, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person, whether they Leo or not, this person feels like you know how to tame them how to relax them, how to make them feel welcome. This person views you as very nurturing, giving, loving, caring, not selfish at all. My gosh, they have so many worries. So some of them could be in a relationship already uh, that you would have known about. Perhaps they met you after they were already in a relationship, something like that. They have some reserves about this meaning they in some kind of predicament that they can't get out of right now uh, this also means uh, problems with communication this person is not the best communicator especially when it comes to feelings when it comes to expressing emotions feelings this person doesn't communicate well they don't communicate effectively they recognize that though so that's a start they recognize that. They admit it to themselves that they are not the best communicators. They will give you silent treatment, sporadic communication, inconsistent messages, like a teenager from high school. Um, yeah, they have deep regrets. They have deep regrets. They wish they were with you instead of wherever it is they are. Um, mm, let me see more yeah so they have been inconsistent with you and they recognize that yeah they have been inconsistent wishy-washy in and out non-committal they have deep regrets about it so now since they admit it to themselves all they have to do is make necessary changes this person loves you but they're not ready to fully show you or tell you yet how much you mean to them emotionally so they feel it's like one day they brave and they want to come forward and tell you let's go out or let's do this let's do that and then they stop themselves this person is powerful attractive successful enigmatic you see they are at a crossroads so they feel like they are at a crossroads trying to figure out where this is leading with you and also trying to figure out what's going on at the place where they work where this is heading for them long term um mm -mm -mm. let me see more let's see more um let's see more and then go into your energy they view you as very attractive so this person is very attracted to you physically energetically very attracted to you they view you as attractive powerful independent good with business finances work wow silent treatment showing up here so this person has given you some silent treatments but not because they want they don't care about you or they don't they don't consider what you feel or think this person has been healing from heartbreak in their life 
a lot of heartbreak this person went through that they didn't really fu uh, fully heal from. You are very patient with this person and they appreciate you for it. You're very patient. You're much more spiritually aware than they are. You are spiritual. You are aware uh, of things that cannot be seen with your physical eyes. You are very advanced. They not. They are a different, much lower level because they needed to be that way in this lifetime to learn the lessons that they need to learn, which are different from your lessons. But nevertheless, it shows the two of you are very deeply connected emotionally, spiritually from other lifetimes. You were together many lifetimes. Wow. So this person feels like they owe you apology or at least explanations. This person is going through a lot. They view you as very attractive, independent. Uh, Aries, you're going to be successful with business. This keeps popping up in your readings constantly. This beautiful energy here that you possess of Aries, which is wants, which is fire, passion, power, combined with Virgo energy, the pentacles, nine of pentacles, financial independence, uh, success in business dealings. This is good. This is you. This is you having good karma, good financial karma and succeeding. Yeah, this person is not good in communication. This shows me that some of them have are going through some kind of physical illness. They've had so much stress in their life uh, and haven't been really uh, balancing that stress. Um, they don't know how to deal with stress. It's dangerous to them because they can develop high blood pressure or ulcers. It's very, uh, you may help them somehow because for you to be this spiritual, it means you are aware on how, of how to deal with stress. Yeah, we all dealing with stress every day. It seems like it's more and more each year, but what will help you is knowing how to deal with it. You seem to get, have it together. They don't. Um, yeah because of how spiritual you are so whatever it is you're doing whether it's meditation reiki whatever it is you're doing it's working for you let's see this person views you as marriage material for themselves yeah they miss you so when they are away from you when they don't talk to you don't see you they miss you they they view you as marriage material wife or husband material for themselves that's how they view you wow let's see what's going on in your life aries to help you out let's see what's coming up for you aries universe please step in show very clear and important messages i just saw the world card before i started shuffling and uh it has uh leo and uh taurus on it so a lot of you are dealing with the leo and a lot of you are dealing with a taurus let's see universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of aries for aries highest good please universe what's coming towards aries what will aries be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good yeah you see this is you manifesting so a lot of you will either have promotions business offers uh job new job opportunity uh raises uh, for some of you it's expansion of business or opening business and this is success this is you knowing what you need to do oh this is beautiful there's something you have passion for these two messages are showing up here there's so much you have passion for. For some of you, it's um, business, um, business expansion, job, whatever it is that has to do with money, you have passion for it and you're going to succeed. And this continuously shows up for you, Aries. You have that beautiful grounded energy of Virgo showing up with your own energy of Aries, which is that passionate fire to have things done. Uh, and this is another very important message showing up for you here. Look at this connection you have with your soulmate. So what you feel for the soulmate, that person feels for you. You two have been connected many lifetimes in 
romantic relationships. For some of you, this shows face-to-face -face meeting, reconnecting face-to-face, -face, very important conversations like phone conversations, not text messaging. Phone conversations, also face-to-face -face meeting, also some kind of gift. So maybe you want to give something to this person because this is your energy. We're asking about you. So you're thinking of giving something to this person. Maybe the birthday is coming up or some kind of uh, celebration that you want to share with them. You want to give them a gift. You love this person a lot. Or you want to share something with them. My goodness, this person loves you, but they're not good at showing it, expressing it. You see, you view this person also as your ultimate soulmate. You view them as somebody you would want to spend your life with. Here's four of wands. Let's see what's coming up for Aries. Man, you have such awesome energy. I love doing Aries readings also Taurus readings oh my god you guys have such good energy collectively speaking you have um Aries you are considered by a lot of people around you as very attractive successful creative you have a lot of admirers out there interested in you but you are interested just in this one person and that's good um, this also shows you're going to have a lot of different ideas for business, business expansion, creating business, also uh, being more diligent at your company. Not that you need to be more diligent. You're already successful. People view you as very diligent worker, but you can help other people improve in their positions. This is very good. Oh my goodness, your person showed up in here. So this person of yours is in love with you, but they're not telling you right now. For some reason, they are hiding it, how deeply they care for you. They wish to be with you. Two of Cups with King of Cups. King of Cups indicates secret love, hidden love, unspoken love. This person also is attractive, like you and also has admirers but they couldn't care less about other admirers they thinking of you they concentrating on you because of how they feel about you wow some passionate quick unexpected messages are showing up here so a lot of you are dealing with the leo here's leo again also uh, sagittarius aries but I feel strongly your energy. So a lot of you are thinking of celebrating their birthday with them or giving them something for their birthday. No matter what sign they are, you want to celebrate something with this person. Wow, a lot of passion here. So on top of four of wands, we have the devil right next to another passionate card page of wands. So you're very attracted to each other very passionate towards each other yeah this is pure passion and love so you have both components which are necessary for a successful long-term romantic relationship both you have passion and love so this person has given you silent treatments they've given you um sporadic communication of two words here and there they've disappointed you deeply emotionally yes they have yes they have you crossing your arms right in front of your heart chakra as to protect your heart because you expect for them to do more of that you already told them how you feel about communication issues here you feel like you are at a crossroads trying to decide where this is leading Remember, you can't make another person do the work. You can suggest it. You can show them the way. You can show them the ropes. But it is ultimately up to them whether they're going to proceed with proper action or not. So you can't blame yourself. Okay? You can't blame yourself. You don't frustrate yourself because it's ultimately up to them. Oh, yeah. Celebration showing up here. So a lot of you will be celebrating something with this person, reuniting with them. Could be celebrating some kind of achievement or anniversary, somebody's anniversary or birthday party or something like that. 
this is this is you this is beautiful two of cups king of cups three of cups this is you reconnecting with this person celebrating something seeing them socializing with them a lot of you are dealing with the leo also cancer scorpio pisces also aquarius libra gemini capricorn um also sagittarius aries virgo taurus capricorn all 12 signs popping through but very strongly i see leo keeps popping up leo um uh capricorn huh uh taurus pisces there will be some kind of reconnection this means uh messages that are unexpected quick unexpected messages you guys a lot of you will be communicating with this person whether they extend the olive branch or you do and also some kind of celebration showing up here celebrating together wow this person is important this person is important for a lot of you and you will know who you are aries you will know who you are when i say this message this is for i shouldn't say a lot of you for a, a percentage of you not necessarily small percentage but percentage of you and you will know right away if it's if this message here is for you some of you are married to somebody else either married to somebody else or living with up with another person uh not with this soulmate here uh, and the marriage is not really heading the right direction. There's a lot of toxicity. Um, this person is toxic, but you already knew this. They're showing up here as violent. They can be prone to addictions of serious nature because the devil is paired with the emperor. Person who could be physically violent, uh, has addictions could be drug alcohol sex addictions gambling addictions deep secrets this person feels very insecure inside um so aries if this message is for you you know this is a very unhealthy situation that you in um for some of you, you you have children with this person, or maybe you adopted children or gave birth to children. Um, it's very toxic person, controlling, uh, could be prone to physical violence. You know when something is that toxic that the best thing for you to do is to leave toxic situation. You just have to be careful how you approach it. If you're married to this person, living with this person you have kids with this person that are underaged it's going to be very difficult but if you ever go through some kind of physical violence with this person where you are abused you need to be very careful especially if you have children do you nobody has the right to abuse you in any way um, there's always centers to call for help if you feel you need to ask for help okay there's a lot of hotlines out there for people who feel trapped or um depressed there's a lot of hotlines out there so reach out don't be scared to reach out remember it takes strength to reach out it's it's a to reach out for help ask for help is a sign of strength not weakness we all need help in different areas of our lives at different times so remember if this message is resonating with you uh, the universe is asking you to reach out for help okay um, talk to people who are professionals who do counseling whatever it is they doing are licensed and um, because I'm not licensed for this kind of advice but for this to show up the your guides find it very urgent for you to to know to hear from this video that it's being recognized as something very toxic and if you have children and those children are growing up in that toxic environment it's very bad for the children to watch this observe this witness this so please um if you feel you you need help 
somebody to guide you reach out for appropriate help out there there are many many different um uh, facilities out there professionals who are properly trained medical professionals who will help you assist you guide you accordingly depending on your individual situation but i can tell you right now as a reader this is very toxic this is very toxic over here so um, this had to be brought up for some reason so um I, my my job is to be honest not to sugarcoat um so i hope you're gonna be okay for those of you that this last message resonates with Oof. okay okay aries we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmates this one over here ask about your soulmates current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time Anything they hiding from you have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know, whether it's about your health, finances, job, business ventures, whatever it is you need to know. Uh, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.